Fork Sports, Mikey B. We're going to be talking about LeBron, the GM. Forget about LeBron James. LeBron GM is back in the house. The best general manager in basketball is LeBron James, bar none. Moves made. Yes, yeah, strikes are being shot. And people are starting to realize that the Lake Show is not all about LeBron James' on court talent. Man, what moves? What moves were made? Let's talk about it. The ones that we know about, the ones that are clear. Montrez Harrell comes over, signs six man of the year, goes over to the Lakers. Shots fired. Next up, why not? Wesley Matthews comes over from the Bucks. Shots fired. Next up, Dennis Schrader. Some say, well, I know he doesn't have the vision of Rondo, but when he was coming to the league, he was looked at as a Rondo type. He's definitely a better three-point scorer. His creation, that's going to be the question mark. Don't know why they let Rondo go, but they had to. Schrader comes over. Good night. How are you? Rondo goes, gets paid in Atlanta. Now, the last but not least, to add on to Harrell, to add on to Wesley Matthews and Dennis Schrader, to actually put on Mark Gasol. Why not? The guy that could shoot from three from long range. I thought maybe they try to nab Brooke Lopez somehow, some way, but man, get him back. But Mark Gasol comes over in the place of Dwight Howard. We are now seeing a different type of trend for the L.A. Lakers. It is no longer the defensive scheme. They were a very strong defensive team. I'm kind of sad that Howard left, and now word is Javal McGee, another one of their anchors, is going to be going, headed out, yeah, and a trade to the Cleveland Cavaliers to possibly get another young, flooded body in Jordan Bell from a defensive perspective who may be able to do the same damage because of his youth. So we shall see how that lays out. But Jordan Bell, Alfonso McKinney, possibly headed to the Lakers, and that trade is for Javon McGee. When I look at this lineup, did they get better? Were there improvements? Well, A.V. Bradley's gone. Even though he didn't do much in the playoffs, that's a big contention point. They need to re-sign Caldwell Pope now. Is that going to turn out well? You're also missing Anthony Davis. Point guard rise, you lose Rajon Rondo. Again, is it a plus or a minus? Could there be one more addition? I heard of a Jeremy Lin signing as the third guard. It would be interesting. But Rondo is also a strong defensive guard. In my opinion, in my opinion, offensively, by, by far, they've gotten a lot better. But defensively, they need a defensive guard. Can Alex Caruso fulfill that need? He's been just the uh, all-around garbage player for them at that guard position. Can he transition to defend like Rondo? That's the question mark. We shall see. So it's Schrader, Caruso. Can they add somebody else? I don't know where they're at at, at the point guard position. I think they're even. I think they're even. I think Rondo leaving, Schrader leaving is one as a one for one because of the generalship. Of Rajon Rondo. Let's get into the shooting guard position. Caldwell Pope, Wes Matthews. Um, I know Quinn Cook is a point guard, but to me, he was a shooting guard. Really didn't utilize him much. Good luck to him. Hopefully, he gets an opportunity. Maybe the Lakers resign him. He knows the damn plays. So we shall see. But Caldwell Pope, definitely, definitely on my mind. Uh, one of the key differentiators last year, he was frustrating because he's so off and on. But now he's going to get the opportunity, and Wes Matthews is going to play the backup, a former six-man of the year as well with the Blazers. Lost a lot of that luster with the Mavericks. Went over to the Bucks. Really didn't show out. Will he show out here? He's still older. Not sure what they're getting out of Wesley Matthews, what kind of Wes Matthews they're receiving. But it's an opportunity and Wes is now here trying to play some ball for the L.A. Lakers. And I think in that position, they're evened out. I doubt they signed J.R. Smith back, and I don't know what J.R. Smith's going to bring. He never got his rhythm. He's a rhythm player. He needs time. If you don't give him time, you won't see what you need to see. And I don't even know if he's going to get the opportunity to get that rhythm. But the Lake Show, go ahead and win the championship uh, with J.R. Will they bring him back? 
just because he knows the plays, easier transition, he knows the guys. Not sure. I think they're the same in the shooting guard position. I don't want to linger this out. They're the same. No difference there. Small forward, LeBron James, uh, Taylor Hort- Hort- Horton Tucker is apparently going to get a more aggressive role with this team. I do think Kostif Kupas was there. Uh, Kostif is a, a Tekapuko, Greek Freak's little brother. I mean, they signed him. I, I want to see what they can do there. I want to see who they can get. Is there an opportunity to probably upgrade over Taylor Horton Tucker? I understand he's a, he could be a, a, a very good talent off the bench, but there's so much out there available. Could you get a good backup for LeBron James? You know what I'm talking about. You know, uh, uh, Trevor Reza type. That type of guy, you know, at that level to back up LeBron. Uh, I would like to see that. I just don't see that here, and I think they're they're losing some scoring. So, for me, they're the same. They're the same right here at the small forward position. Let's go into the power forward position. Anthony Davis, Kyle Kuzma, they need to resign Anthony Davis. I, I think he's the lead on this team uh, from a from an all around perspective. LeBron James foots a lot of low, but it is it is Anthony Davis's team in my opinion. I think LeBron James understands that they got to resign the boy. That's going to get them where they need to be. Hopefully, that's even. Here goes the big upgrade, but then downgrade defensively. Marcus Gasol and Montrez Harrell plus Jordan Bell. I like this uh, three three uh, three headed monster. I think it's an improvement. They get more scoring. Um, not sure they get the blocks that they're going to get with Davis and Howard. I would have kept at least one of those guys. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have traded both. But that's the direction they wanted to go, and uh, apparently it is what it is, right? Uh, Mister uh, 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 Mister Howard is gone. Wanted some money, and, and Mister McGee is gone. Apparently they think Jordan Bell is an upgrade. I think this is the potential improvement spot for them where I think it's drastically different than the point guard position or the shooting guard position. I think this center position, which which they got Montrell Harrell there, even though he could play power forward, with Jordan Bell is a big improvement over Howard and McGee from an offensive perspective. I'm still not sure defensively. Actually, I am sure. They're not better than Javon McGee and Dwight Howard defensively. No way. All right? So it's a trade-off. It looked good when you heard it. And you're like, man, LeBron, LeBron GM, LeBron GM did his thing. But now looking at it again, as you, it's like a, it's like a new car. Man, that's hot. That's hot. That's hot. Damn, damn. You see it for about the 16th time. You say, ah, I'm starting to notice some, some stuff about the car. You know, ah, that's a little bit off. That's old. I've seen it. I'm not sure about this change. I'm not sure about this change and how it will work. They'll definitely offensively, offensively a killer from the three-point land, but I still think they need some defensive help, and I have no clue why they're training McGee. So off works for I'm going to sign off right now. My impressions, they've definitely improved offensively, but defensively is a big question mark. We shall see we, what we shall see when the season begins with the L.A. Lakers. If they can nab somewhat of a shot blocker, maybe a more defensive mind, small forward, It'll be exciting to see. All four sign off. LeBron GM strikes again, making the moves, making a tough out here for a player. Hey, it is what it is. Lake Show back again. All four. I'm out. Peace.